Hello adventurers! Welcome to my channel! In this episode, we will talk with Stan for a ship to Monkey Island and we will figure it out combination for the safe in the shop. Let's start! Let's touch the parrot with click on the right mouse button. I don't believe it! You are a brave man after all! You faced the beast I've feared all these years! You had the guts to do what I never could! I feel like such a coward! I'm not good enough to be on your crew! I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 eggs. Oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meat Hook. Mr. Meat Hook? You're a big, strong, good looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Who wanna see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. And we've got our last crew member. Now, it's time to go and talk with Stan for a ship that can go to Monkey Island. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. I'm Stan, Look at his hands. Stan's he is too fast vessels, for us. And I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, little, slow. You want it? I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. To get him show you the ship that goes to Monkey Island, you must ask him for the cheapest one. So Don't ask me. me why. What are you interested in looking at today? Let me see the best ship you've got. Hey, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now this, this is a ship fit for a king. I mean, we're talking 15 staterooms, a fireplace in every one. We're talking two pools, one indoor, one outdoor. We're talking rotating ballroom. We're talking heated crow's nest. We're talking 200 feet of ocean-going decadence. And all for one low price. Speaking of price, just how much were you looking to spend today? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. 
If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. He give us a tip to go to the shopkeeper for credit. What well, a nice advice. This may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I tell you, I got a feeling you're going to leave here today with a new previously owned vessel. So, what else can I show you? That spiffy blue one by your office looks nice. Of course it does. It's mine. And it's not for sale. What else can I show you? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. He will tell us now the story of the ship that goes to Monkey Island. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything. You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. What kind of price range were you thinking of? We don't have enough money now, so we must leave and go to the shopkeeper for this credit note. Oh, no more than 174 pieces of eight. Look, this is a very reasonably priced ship, but not that reasonable. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Money is no object. Well, it is with me. How much you got? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I got five other guys coming back to look at this baby today. Don't count on it being here if you change your mind. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. The magnetic compass that Stan give us will be very useful later in the game. Now, it's time to go to Shopkeeper and don't forget to prepare some pen and paper. This is my tip one in the series. Stan's previously owned vessels. I won't shut up until I've made you a deal. Stan. 
When you set sail for good value, all winds blow towards stands. Warning. Contains strong magnet which may interfere with other navigational equipment. After you talk with shopkeeper for credit note, just look how he move the handle on the safe, then write it faster on the paper. I write just the arrows, but you can write more if you want. Ask him for the sword master, and when he left, go to the safe and repeat the combination. You got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? To be honest, sir, I'm between jobs. I appreciate your honesty, but I didn't get to be 83 by being no jackass. No job, no credit. <laughs> Come see me when you land a job and we'll talk. Just remember, you must pull it to come the handle to you or push it to go far from you. Left is to you and right is far from you. Also, I should watch combination two or three times before it's working for me. So don't worry if doesn't work for you on first attempt. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. What do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay. Wake me up if you need anything. I've got my eye on you, boy. Steal anything and I break your legs. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You got yourself a job, finally, huh? All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. That's everything for this episode, adventurers. In the next episode, we will finally take the credit note and buy the ship that goes to Monkey Island from Stan. Don't miss it! Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? To be honest, sir, I'm between jobs. I appreciate your honesty, but I didn't get to be 83 by being no jackass. No job, no credit. <laughs> Come see me when you land a job and we'll talk. I hope you enjoy this episode. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also click like and the bell, so you don't miss my videos. If you have requests for other series or game to play, write below in the comments. See you in the next video. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Ma-